Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'll show you how and where to add custom CSS to your website in WordPress 6.2 or newer. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out my WordPress for Beginners 2023 no-code WordPress masterclass on Udemy. I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. All right, so let's dive in to add custom CSS to your WordPress website. You're gonna to wanna to navigate to the site editor by going to appearance editor. And here is the new site editor that was added in WordPress 6.0 and then revamped in WordPress 6.2. I'm not gonna get into the details because I do cover this in my WordPress masterclass, but what you'll do is click on the main content area here. So now we are inside the block editor once you're here, come up top here to the top menu and you'll see this little icon here for the styles. So click on styles. And at the very top of the sidebar for the styles, you're gonna see this little styles action menu. Click on that. And below the welcome guide, you're going to see additional CSS. And this is going to be where you add your custom CSS. So you'll see a brief description here, a link to learn more about adding CSS and then under additional CSS, this little text field is where you'll add your custom CSS. And I've already prepared some custom CSS, so I'll hit Control V to paste that. And you'll see what this line of code will do is it'll increase the size of my H1 text here in this block. I do wanna note that with all of the new features added in WordPress 6.0 or newer, there are a ton of ways you can easily customize your site without code. So I do recommend using those options first before coming over here and adding custom CSS. However, as many web designers know, there are situations where needing custom CSS may arise. So it is good to have this feature here. But once you're ready, just hit save and save again. And I can come over here to my live site and just refresh. And there you'll see our custom CSS has updated our H1. So I'll navigate back here and just delete the custom CSS, click save and save again. And if I wanted to return to the WordPress dashboard, all I have to do is come back here to the W and then click on that logo again. And here we are back inside of the WordPress dashboard. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.